For those of you going away to college for the first time this year, you might want to watch this video very carefully. I apologize for the shaky cam. I'm out on a bike ride. Uh, it's a very beautiful sunny day. So, I was talking with a friend of mine who was who is going away to college for the first time this year and was talking I was talking about the kind of people you'll run into. Uh, even though we live in upstate New York, which has a bit of redneckiness to it some places, we live in a very liberal county area, um, considerably, considering stuff. And I was saying, you're going to run into people with a lot of different views than you. You're going to run into a lot of people from the middle of nowhere, and a lot of people, a lot of people from New York City, Long Island, and all those other places, just you know, not where you're living. Some people from other countries, some people from other states. And they'll all have different ideas and things. What you have to understand is that when you're going away to college for the first time and you see all these different people with different ideals and perspectives and viewpoints that conflict with yours, know that nobody's in their natural territory. Nobody, oh, Nobody is more comfortable than you. Everyone is a fish out of water. Everyone's out of their own little pond. So, as weird as they look to you, you look to them. Now the thing is, is that this video is about judging and how to interact with people who you normally wouldn't interact with. Because when you go to college, there's only going to be, say, 15 people who have seen this one anime you've seen. Or 10 people who really like this game you like. You know, or only 5 people that want to go to this event with you. And a certain percentage of those people will be, by your perspective, either bigots, or snobs, or idiots on certain things that you just can't stand. But on this thing that you share, you can relax and be friends with them with. So, you're gonna be flip-flopping with so many people and places and subjects that you'll develop a m many sides to yourself. And you'll have some sides that you share with some people and some sides that you share with others. And what that is, is that it's about adaptation. Uh, pardon the wind. It's about adaptation because when we all grow up in our hometowns, we adapt to what's around us. Every thing that people have that is not a thought that they just made up or a thought that they really thought hard about and had original thinking with, any non-invented thought is a part of conditioning. We're all conditioned for all sorts of things. We have conditioning that we consider good and conditioning that we consider bad. But it's all, our, all, so much of our personalities and what we do and what we choose to say is our adaptation to a, a crazy place, a crazy environment. And when you go away to college, the things you've adapted to, those stressors and those communal things aren't there anymore. So it just looks like that's part of your personality. But so much of what we do is defense mechanisms and adaptations and reactions to things that we have to deal with in our life. And when you go away to college, your things that you adapted to are way different from the things that other people have adapted to. So just because someone has a different political viewpoint, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're an awful person and you shouldn't hang out with them. It means that they adapted to something completely different than you did. And that's the mindset they had to have to survive there. You know, if the dentist from the city has to go out and go to a train stop and fix people's teeth there for 30 years and then comes back to the city, they're gonna pick up a few things. They didn't morally decline as a person. They just adapted. And this leads me into crazy people. If you go away to college, 
you're gonna run to crazy people. People who are crazy. Just, that's the way you'll describe it. They're, they're just, they're insane people. But that's because they're traumatized. They went through a thing that they had to adapt to that was crazy. And when you adapt to a crazy place or crazy environment, then that's the norm. And everyone who's not adapting to the craziness seems crazy to them. That's why schizophrenia, in the medical sense, is such a terrifying thing because your reality is whatever you say it is. And if your reality has terrifying, anxiety-driving things that make you um, what's the word? Uh, when you think that everyone's out to get you. When you think everyone's out to get you, when you believe that, then people are out to get you. You just can't prove it, you know? So when you think, because of whatever's going on in your brain, that all this horrible stuff is happening, and that you're seeing all these horrible things, and all this just awful stuff, and everyone else is just going away with their day-to-day -day life like everything is fine, you're gonna go nuts because you're, you know, you're standing and there's this cute girl in front of you, but then there's a purple leprechaun that is seven feet tall that's going to slash their neck open. So you think, oh my god, I have to save this person. And you shove them out of the way. And to everyone else, it looks like you're just crazy, but that's the reality they think they're living in. So, I'll touch up on this in another video about defense mechanisms, but just know that so much of what people do is not a conscious decision and is just what they've learned to adapt to. So, maybe instead of judging people for what they are in, the, what, they are in what they do in, a lot of, in certain specific cases, we should try to create an environment where they adapt to be someone who is happy. All right, um, oh my God, Supersonic, no, stop. Oh, two crits in a row, oh my God. So I found out that corn is naughty natured, which means lower special defense, which sucks for this situation, but higher physical attack. What the hell? I haven't even used focus energy. That's three crits in a row. Corn, you are legendary. You